So today I didn't even get my coffee or anything because a special someone is sick. A couple of months ago, Sally arrived here to the rescue zoo. We did a whole video about how she was previously owned by private people, she was an illegal monkey and forcefully removed from her previous owner and there's a whole legal battle going on because her previous owner trying to get her back but she's a big exotic animal not meant to be living in a small apartment we don't take any sides in this we just facil facilitate a, a good place for her to to live and right now she's living in the quarantine area but she's an older girl and this morning we could see that something was wrong this morning we could tell that Sally was feeling a bit under the weather and we decided to move her down into the new quarantine area that you guys saw in the last video where we moved down Olivia yesterday. As the day progressed here in the rescue zoo, we could just see that Sally was getting more and more back to herself and me and Joan has been taking shifts throughout the day, looking after her, making sure she was eating, drinking, being there for her. As Sally has been used to private people for 30 years, it was necessary to a different degree than in a, another instance with another rescue animals that might not have had the same human contact. It was necessary for, for us to be there for Sally. And then something really magical and, and special happened. Look who's checking in. Olivia's waking up and is so happy and just because Olivia, the gibbon, now living next to Sally in the other quarantine area. Olivia is the gibbon that you guys met in the previous YouTube video. Olivia was sitting next to us and next to me and next to Joan and watching over Sally and looking very, very carefully if what was happening. And, and it really did look like that she was looking if Sally was okay. It was really special. We might have an incredibly busy day and 600 animals here in the rescue zoo, but we look at the individual and not just a group. And we always make time to those of the animals that need some extra help. The 600 animals living here at the rescue zoo come from many different situations. It could be from the medical industry or the cosmetic industry where the animals have been used for testing or private people obtaining illegal exotic animals, like in the case with Sally. It could be from fur farms. We also have surplus animals, and we also have the more traditional zoo animals in breeding programs to keep some of the more rare species alive. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to watch another rescue animal story, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It was Nico here. Until next time in the rescue zoo.